Swole Benjamin here. Today I'm going to teach you how to get the Wondrous Flask of Physic, or the Flask of Wondrous Physic rather, which is a potion you can use separate from your Flask of Crimson Tears, which can either buff your stats or heal you or lower your stamina usage. It really depends. The way the flask works is you will get ingredients throughout the game which do not consume upon use. Once you have the two ingredients, you can make your own little unique potion that you can chug every time once um, per rest at a grace site. So let me show you how to get to it, but before I do that, we're, we are going to start from Gatefront. Now, for those that have not played this game or are new, if you don't have your mount yet, that is step one, which will end up at Gatefront, because as you start the game, you will go to Gatefront and get your mount. If you don't know how to do that, I have a video just for you. It is right here on the screen. Uh, you can also click the link in the description. It will take you right to the video. Just search the description. And with, out of, with that out of the way, let's get into how to get there. Now, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to follow this road east. It curves a little bit south and goes east again. At this fork, we're going to go north. All right? And uh, it's, uh, it's located somewhere like about right up there. Now, that's for people that have explored the map. Now, I'm going to show you the entire ride there so that you don't get lost, all right? And it is nighttime. It is more dangerous to ride on this road at night, so you can wait till daytime. And the reason why it's more dangerous at nighttime is because of the night sentinel, or I forget his name, but he's he, he's a horseman that's up ahead. So, we're going to follow the road, and we're going to cross a bridge, and as soon as we do, we're going to turn left at the fork and go north. Now, the reason I'm making a guide on this, it's very basic, is that this is a small piece of a much larger guide I'm working on. There's lots of distractions on the road, don't worry about it, there's a guy that wants a quest, there's these scarabs, you can get them if you want, it's totally fine, but I'm going to be escaping them for now. So, see this... Oh, not that. Uh, this horseman up ahead, this is a boss mob, so um, if you... he only appears at night. The Knight's Cavalry, alright? So we need to go north now, okay? We just crossed the bridge. Now we're going to take this little, little non-paved road, little dirt road. We're going to take it north. And because the boss is here, I can't see my compass. But I guarantee you, this is north. So just ride through all the mobs. Alright. We're going to continue following it north, and it's going to curve back east. Okay? So just continue following it. And you can see on the map, well, once I'm out of combat, I can show you the map, what it looks like. There we go. So we are now on the correct path. A little bit more of the, the map is uh, being displayed. You want to ride on this main road. So we're going to continue on. Now, the reason I don't speed up this footage is because it really bothers me when I watch videos and the footage is sped up and I'm just not able to follow it. Now, along the way, we're going to pick up this grace too, because why not? Just in case something happens, we have like a little safety point to return to without having to start completely over again. And any player playing their first time is obviously going to pick up all the grace sites. I think only speedrunners would not bother, and speedrunners won't be watching this video anyway. Again, you can just ignore all the little quest givers. You can pick up stuff along the way. By the way, uh, people want to know if massive or spamming your your horse sprints button makes you faster than just holding sprint. And the truth is that it does give you a slight speed boost. There are tests out there on YouTube that explain this. So here we go, we're about to get the Flask of Wondrous Physic, which is right here in this church. But I have a bonus for you as well. I'm going to show you a nice warp to get to a very vital part of the map on Kaleed, I believe is the name. So before anything, let's pick up this Grace, just in case something out of the blue kills us, okay? You, you never want to mess around in this game. Alright, and then we're going to go ahead and grab everything in the church. So here we go, the Flask of Wondrous Physic. All right, and it also gives us a Crimson Crystal Tear, as well as the Flask. And then I'm just going to go ahead and pick up the Sacred Tear, because that's going to allow us our regular Flask to heal more. So let me show you how it works. It's already in our inventory, and we're going to rest at the Grace site. All right, and then you got to mix Wondrous Physic, and you'll have these ingredients over time. So right now, we start with the Crimson Crystal Tear. This restores half of our total HP. Um, later in the game, you can get things that increase, like your Holy Damage, or gives you more stamina, stuff like that. So that's what you would do, and then whenever you want to use it, you would just have it here in your inventory. But what I like to do is I like to put it in my pouch instead, instead of my inventory, so I'm not scrolling through. And then I just hit my quick slot pouch button. So I hold triangle or Y, and then I press left on the D-pad, and then I can chug the potion. And you can see that it's a completely different flask than the crimson one, okay? 
um, which a lot of people refer to as Estes. Okay, so now that we're here and we have uh, we have the the grace, let me show you now where the warp is, and this is gonna warp us all the way at the top right, or it's more like it's kind of like in the bottom right of the map over over this way. I can't really scroll that far yet. Um, but it's going to be in the top right position of that, and that was is going to be about north northeast, kind of against the wall here. So what you want to do is from let's start over now. From here, I'm going to go north, but to the right a bit, so northeast, out of this hole, and I'm going to follow this wall west. Okay, and it should be like behind the trees here. Yep, there it is. All right, so this is a way gate. It's going to teleport us pretty darned far. Okay, into a very high level dangerous area. It's actually going to put us right behind a boss. But because we have the mount, we can just right away and go get the grace. And it's a nice shortcut for a later video where I'm going to talk about an exploit on how to farm a dragon. So here we, we are. This is how far away we, it put us on the map. So we went from here and we, we teleported all the way up here. And the dragon that we're going to farm is right down, about, about right here. Maybe a little bit further down. But essentially... From here, I'm already mounted, I can just run past the gargoyle, and uh, he's going to aggro, maybe not. And uh, we can grab the grace that is either on this bridge or across the bridge, and then we're all set. And if we die, we can warp back to that warp point and start all over again. It's uh, it's that simple, guys. So uh, <laughs> don't be afraid, this is a high level zone, but we have the grace now, so we don't have to use that teleporter anymore. And yes, there is a dragon on this bridge, but you can just ride past them. Uh, it's not a big deal, and there's a lot of good stuff to get in this high-level zone, lots of things to get, uh, which I will cover in separate videos. This is a small piece of a much larger guide video, so I appreciate you watching, and um, also, because I'm in Kale lead now, she is going to give me access to the round table, which is where you can do all sorts of things like upgrade your gear at a blacksmith, and buy things from a vendor, which is also part of the guide. So this is one of the fastest ways to get to the round table, but also how to get the Flask of Wondrous Physics. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm Soul Benji. Thanks for watching. As always, be a bro and stay swole. If you'd like to support me financially, there is a donation link in the description, in the pinned comment. Also, you can join and become a channel member, which is like a, it's like being subscribed on Twitch. It's $5 a month. It really helps me out, and it will give you access to private, more personal, or... Uh, videos that are just too good for the public mostly in online multiplayer games if there's like an exploit that i don't want everyone to like know about or get the game devs to fix it uh it'll be there as for members only uh, again guys videos every single day this is a small guide video uh that is part of a much larger guide i'm working on so please come back tomorrow for more guides take care you guys are awesome i will see you tomorrow